Hello world. Today I wanted to talk about something I'm actually pretty passionate about, but I also get questioned about quite often, and I think it's justifiable. Why do I have such a large number of channels? What was the thinking there? Obviously, one channel does a billion times better than all the rest, the tech channel, and that whole channel is based around being biased towards Apple. So why don't I rename Taylor's of Tech to, you know, the Apple Sheep? You know, why don't I name that the go-to Apple channel or YouTube Apple or some kind of play on words so that Apple is incorporated into the name? And again, why do I vlog? Why do I make this show? Why do I make comedy sketches? What's the point of having all this? I don't know, okay? This is this channel's last video, all right? This was all pointless. Don't know why I'm doing it. Everyone keeps asking me. I, 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 I don't know. Just gonna stick to tech videos, okay? Bye. Obviously not. But first of all, the reason I don't call Talos of Tech the Apple Sheep channel is because if you search Apple Sheep, I'm the first thing that comes up anyway. So I already have that name, basically. I am YouTube's definition of the Apple Sheep. But it's also because I still consider the possibility that one day Apple might not be the best tech company out there. I think they are right now, but maybe someday that'll change. In which case, I don't want to have to alter my entire brand to cater to one company specifically. Maybe if Samsung someday starts to do way better things than Apple, I would not want Want my whole brand loyalty to be loyal to one company. Definitely not gonna happen anytime soon, but if it did, I'd like for that Taylosif name that I've talked about on here before to stick. I like that name, it's unique to me. I'm not named everything Apple Pro, so people get confused when you start talking about Android and Samsung products. So there's that. So first of all, that's why I'm keeping around the name Taylosif. There's a whole nother hello world on how that name came to be. You guys should watch that. I think it's episode seven. If you haven't yet, please check that one out. But again, why have all these other channels as well, especially if they're not performing as well. They're still growing in subscribers. This channel just passed 2,000. Thank you, by the way, for getting us there. But the main channel doesn't even have 1,500 yet. It's like 1,480. The gaming channel doesn't have much content, and it has around 900 subscribers. Dan the Movie Man has around 670. What's the point in trying to support this whole network if only one thing is truly being successful? Well, to be fair, when I started YouTube, absolutely none of this was actually successful. There were countless channels that started before Taylosif that didn't go anywhere. But as I got older, I began to want networks to be a bit more organized and a bit more selective. So I always had the idea of making more than just action sequences and comedy sketches. I knew one day, yes, I would like to have a voice on technology. Yes, I would like to have social commentary like I'm doing right now. And sure, I want to vlog. I want to do all those things. But I followed a lot of channels that tried to do that, that tried to do every single thing in a list. They do gaming, they do vlogs, they do movie reviews, they do everything on one channel. Personally, and maybe it's just me, maybe other people are okay with this, but I didn't like that. Sometimes when I follow a certain YouTuber, I really only want to hear them talk about technology. Or when I talk to a different YouTuber, I really just want to hear their thoughts on movies. I don't want to hear their thoughts on everything else. But when you click subscribe to that channel, every single day you're going to get two to three different videos in your subscriptions feed. Well, either people you don't know or subjects you don't care about. But also, at the same time, depending on the YouTube personality, I would want to know more. Some of my more favorite YouTubers, I would love for them to make their own separate channels for different subjects. It's like, yes, you're really good at reviewing movies, but I'm also very curious to hear what kind of phone you use and what kind of computer you edit with. And oftentimes they don't have a separate channel for that kind of thing. So it got annoying to me. And my idea was that if people liked my personality and they wanted to see more from me, more gaming or more movie reviews or more vlogs or sketch comedy, they would have that option. That's what I think is so simple to understand about the Talos of Network. It's literally color coded. The black tea is the comedy sketches, the blue tea is technology, the red tea is for gaming, the purple tea is for daily life, and the yellow tea is for movie reviews. And there's a white tea in there for serious stuff. I don't know when that's getting updated. We need a whole nother Hello World episode on that channel. But still, when you subscribe to Talos of Tech, you are not forced to watch all of my content. You just get the stuff that is related to technology. I think a lot of people would hesitate to subscribe to Talos of Tech if they knew oh, he does tech videos, oh, and he does comedy sketches, oh, and he does vlogs, oh, and he does social commentary, and there's movie reviews occasionally, that would turn people away because all they would really care about is the next iPhone news update and they don't want their subscriptions feed filled up with all that other crap. So that's my general rule of thinking with starting the Talos of Network. People can very simply click and subscribe to exactly what they want. And again, if you want everything I produce, if you want to see every single bit of content I create on all platforms, it's really easy to follow all of it. You can just subscribe to each channel. That way, whether it's the main channel, whether it's gaming, tech, talks, movie reviews, all of that stuff, it's going to show up in your subscription.
subscriptions. You just have to click the subscribe button a couple more times. I think that's far more organized. And I also like the idea of having a theme. This Talos of T logo, which a lot of people like and a lot of people don't, but I'm sticking to it. I'm hoping it grows on you if you don't like it, but a lot of people are okay with it. Back when I first designed it and pitched it to my audience, I think I had a thousand subscribers. I asked everyone if they were okay with me switching it and everyone said, yeah, looks great. So we did and people have made lots of comments and jokes about it. Believe me, I've heard them all. But the reason I'm sticking with it is because I like it and I want to make content that I find enjoyable. Same goes for my branding. I want to make a logo that I think looks good and I'm okay with putting on all my social media sites and putting across all these channels. What I like about the network is that every single channel does have the same symbol technically. So you know what that symbol means. Hopefully one day when this network grows and grows and grows and becomes super popular, you can just see that T, whether it be a sticker on someone's car or a t-shirt, and you know that means Taylosif. But at the same time, the color of the T points to a different genre of this business. See, I've seen businesses with multiple YouTube channels in the past, but their branding and their coloring and their logos are kind of all over the place and a bit confusing. I'll just use one as an example, Rooster Teeth. Probably an easier to remember name because it's actual words, you know, rooster and teeth, those are real words. Talosif is not, but hear me out. Their logo is like those clacky teeth things right next to a chicken. So there's that logo, but they also have Let's Play, a separate channel with a whole different logo that's just dedicated to Let's Plays because the gaming element of their channel was so popular. But at the same time, they also have a channel called Achievement Hunter, which has a whole different logo. And they're kind of their own separate thing that's not connected to Rooster Teeth, but it's in the same building and it's the same people. And that show used to be a part of Rooster Teeth, but because it became so popular, they broke off. And there's countless other channels they own, but again, there's not really that similarity across them all so that you know, yes, that is part of the Rooster Teeth network. You don't really, if you just stumbled onto those channels. You may find it out by what they're talking about and by looking at the links associated with their channel. And I also think their logos are a tad complicated. Whereas what I was going for with the letter T was something that could last for decades if I needed to. I do honestly plan on keeping that as big as the network grows. And I still love the idea of color coding each individual channel so that each channel has a certain colored theme. And I think blue especially really went with technology because a lot of iOS and a lot of design layouts Apple goes with involves the color blue, like kind of the menus and with iMessage and the different texts and color options you have in most apps, it typically defaults to blue. So I thought that associated with technology and especially Apple products pretty well. That was the first sub channel I made after making the first original just Taylosif channel. That first branch off was tech. It definitely did not do very well for a solid year, but I still kept around that blue theme. I thought that fit it best and it still does today. And with gaming, I noticed a lot of hardcore gamers and a lot of gaming technology like custom built PCs and controllers. They kind of like to go with this red and black theme. It goes really well with the theme of being hardcore and tough. This is a real gaming rig. That's why I associated red with gaming the most. I thought it fit. After making the gaming logo, I wanted to get more into movie reviews. Why did I pick the color yellow? It's kind of stupid actually. Originally, I wanted the Telosive Move Reviews logo to be like a bucket of popcorn spilled over. And the original channel name was going to be Leftovers. I don't know why I thought that was cool. But at the time, I was like, oh, it's something else. But then I quickly realized that Leftovers doesn't infer that it has anything to do with movie reviews. Whereas, you know, Telos of Tech, that makes sense. It's technology. Telos of Gaming, that associates with gaming. And then there's Leftovers, which didn't make any sense. But because the logo had popcorn on it, I stuck with the color yellow because that's kind of the buttery scent of popcorn. Obviously, as I reinvented the channels, I switched them away from leftovers and switched to movie reviews because people actually can understand what that means. It's a tad more logical. It's a longer name. It's harder to say. It doesn't roll off the tongue as well, but I thought it fit the best. Some of my friends wanted to switch it to Taylosif Film, but I said that could get confusing because it's not our films. We're reviewing movies, so that's where we got the name movie reviews. And then at one point, there was Talos of Music music and that was green but we don't we don't talk about that but honestly really where the idea originated of having a network of channels was when I was being a TA in high school one time and me as the teacher assistant rarely had much to help my teacher with so a lot of the time I would just mess around with my YouTube channel and manage it and at the time it had like a hundred subscribers so I thought I had a huge audience I had to favor and that still can be a huge audience depending on how long you've been doing YouTube and one day when I clicked up on my profile picture Google went through an update on YouTube and I saw the 
free option add channel. Back when I originally started just the main channel, Taylosiv, no two channel names could be the same. It was much like Twitter. Your YouTube account was not two separate names. It was not Andrew Erickson. You just had to pick one username that had to fit a certain character limit and it had to be something that no one else was. Obviously Google changed that when Google Plus came out. Now anyone can make any YouTube channel name they want. So when that update went through, I saw the option that you could add channels to the same Gmail. And very quickly, I got this idea of just hitting the add channel button. And it just said, what is your channel name? It can be anything you want. That's where the idea started growing on me. I was like, oh wait, I can just write down Taylosiv tech, hit create, and now I own that channel name? The possibilities are endless. So it didn't even start with me thinking, I'm going to start making tech videos or I want to make gaming videos. It was literally me figuring out that I could own more than one channel. And because when I was young, you couldn't do that easily. You had to have a whole separate Gmail address if you wanted a different YouTube account. Finding out that you could have all these different channels tied to one account made me want to just start having that list of channels drop down when you hit your profile picture and having all of these different accounts that you manage, all of them doing different things. So yeah, the first thing I did was create Taylor's of Tech and Taylor's of Gaming with nothing on them, no pictures, no content, and I just went, great, I have that channel. But if I'm gonna have that channel, definitely I need a logo, so let me run into Photoshop real quick, design these old, old retro logos for those channels, which I thought were cool, but again, those channels had profile pictures and cover photos and Facebooks and Twitter accounts with nothing on them. There was not a single video on either channel. I was still making Saturday shorts every single Saturday back then. That was my primary focus. But then when content did start coming out on those other channels and I found the time to make tech videos and work with my friends on gaming videos, I started plugging them at the end of my Saturday short outros. And I think both of those channels had something like the tech channel, I think maxed out at 30 subscribers. It stuck at 30 for about two years or so. The gaming channel had like 15 to 16 for a good six to seven months that didn't change and at that time the main channel had around a hundred so that was my network so I just want everyone to realize that at that time I was getting all of my publicity and all of my views which weren't much at the time but I was getting all of my attention on one channel and for the most part I thought all of my efforts should go towards that channel because I have the largest subscriber base I have the most views on there but when I had the free time I would start making tech videos and gaming videos and a lot of my friends and family would look at that and be like what are, you, what are you doing with this? What's the point? Now, I think everyone would be extremely grateful that I made those decisions because that tech channel obviously exploded and that's probably the reason you're watching this right now. It opened up this new door to the internet that people were actually searching for and now all the rest of the channels have opened up because I tried something different and I stayed with it. Even though publicity-wise it was not doing extremely well, as time went on and as I stayed consistent with it, it grew and blossomed into a massive channel that would have never been anticipated by me. I had no clue that it was going to grow so fast. I'm very grateful it is now and I'm going to keep letting it grow and keep making daily content for it. But I'm also never going to quit working on these other channels because I still see that possibility of these also getting bigger and actually outgrowing the tech channel one day if we make the right product, if we make the right content that people are interested in. I love now that all of my channels are closing in on a thousand subscribers. I think it's great that we have an audience across everything now and things that didn't really get that many views when they originally come out are now getting fans like on the Taylor's of main channel that's where this all started and now to see it finally continued and to see people 400 500 600 people watching every Saturday short just warms my heart because I remember the days when only a fraction of that number could see the shorts and to know that I'm bringing joy and happiness and entertainment and information to so many more people now just warms my heart I love seeing this and I love interacting with all of you guys so thank you for making this Taylor's of network possible. I hope you guys understand why I have this wide array of channels. It's because I think each one can benefit all of them if done correctly. That's why I keep making talks videos even though they don't make nearly as much money as the tech ones and they probably take a bit more time. But who knows what could happen. I'm just gonna keep trying new things and hope for the best. And clearly you guys enjoy watching these because you've made it to the end of this post 10 minute video. You're a very patient person and I don't have any plans on adding more channels anytime soon because obviously I can't make enough content for the ones I have now. Gaming's still up in the air. We don't know about productions, but they'll all be solved in time. So thanks for watching this one, guys. Hope you have an excellent day. Take care.